I can I just ask everybody, do teams fucking learn? Do teams learn from mistakes? Do teams learn from not being in the Super Bowl? Do teams learn that we don't want to go backwards? We want to go forwards. Forwards, forward. Sorry. Okay, so Blake Bortles just signed a three-year extension up to $54 million. Whatever, 52, 50, whatever the fuck it is. This is what I don't get. I don't get it. Because this team hasn't been to this this team has never played in a Super Bowl. This team has not made it to the Super Bowl. This guy this team has hasn't made it since what 95, 96 to like an NFC champ an AFC championship game, whatever it is, the 90s, they haven't been they haven't done anything since the 90s. Oh, until this year, of course. But you finally have you drafted Leonard Fordette. You got Shelton running the ball with him. You got receivers, Bar I mean you got receivers. You got I Oh, a, a pretty good tight end. Well, a tight end that's been on the Jaguars since since the fucking birth of the fucking flood. Twenty-one and thirteen, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty-one touchdowns, thirteen interceptions for two thousand fucking seventeen. Do we learn? Doug Marone's coaching the team pretty well. You bring Tom Coughlin back to his roots, back to Jacksonville. Become the GM. They extended Doug Marone and and uh, Tom Coughlin for the next few th to 2021. Cause you would think, hey, they're making good decisions, so keep them on. This is why your team is gonna go fucking backwards. This is not the move. For a guy that 21 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, are you fucking kidding me? And this is the guy that you're going to pay a shit ton of money to the next few seasons? Let me tell you something. Okay. That really makes the whole fucking league look at you like stupid fucking assholes. It really does, okay? I'm not talking shit because I have to make this because you, I mean, you finally have a team. You drafted a very good, powerful running back. You have what on that D line? You got Marcel Darius that came from the Bills. You got Malik Jackson, the ex Denver Bronco that won a Super Bowl. You got. Oh my God! You got Class Campbell, a, a Pro Bowl player from the Arizona Cardinals D line. You got AJ Bouye, who just signed eighty-one million dollar contract last year. AJ Bouye, a top corner free agent that played very well. Jalen Ramsey, you drafted, and he's probably the best, probably the number one corner in my opinion in the fucking league. With Miles Jack that got drafted last year that no one picked him early because he had knee issues and no one knew what to do with him. And then you got oh, so many young, talented players. Oh, I mean, there's no depth. The depth sucks on that defense because in that Patriots game, without those starters playing, that old game every snap, oh, shit. No rotation, no nothing. It was horrible. Other than the bad coaching in the second half, playing fucking zone when you got A.J. Bouye and fucking Jalen Ramsey on the fucking outside. <sighs> Bortles hasn't put up stats since 2014, where he had like, what, 35 touchdowns? And what, 16 interceptions, whatever it was, 17, whatever the hell it was. Then we had like 35 touchdowns 2014. This defense is going to have to put the offense 
Oh, and this sounds fucking weird. This defense is going to have to put the offense on their fucking back next year and for years to come. Signing Boyles the next few years, you're just ruining that whole team. Number one, you're wasting players years. You're wasting players being on this team because half of these guys on defense, you're not going to be able to afford them down the road. Hell fucking no. You got the top players from each team, almost every a few teams in the league. Or are they just high tier caliber players? And you go and extend Blake Bortles to a three-year extension? What did he do? Do you... I don't know what Blake Bortles did. I really... What did he do this year? He doesn't look comfortable. He's twitchy. He's very hesitant in the pocket. I mean, they still have some coaching issues as of what they're doing with personnel because they lo- they don't even use Fournette the right way. They're running him sideline to sideline. They were playing zone on defense. Why the fuck are you playing zone? You got two good corners. I don't know. It really baffles my mind what this league is turning into. And that guy don't deserve shit but a fucking... Big broom behind his ass going out the fucking front of Jacksonville. Bye-bye. That is embarrassing. If I'm a Jaguars fan now, I'm fucking embarrassed. Okay? And Jaguars fans, don't be mad at me because I've had the Eagles, the Eagles fans, we've had embarrassing seasons, we've had embarrassing signings, and we've overhyped too many fucking people on this damn team over the years. That guy don't deserve anything. He he don't even deserve a mediocre contract. He don't even deserve that. But for some fucking reason, they're going to go backwards now. Yeah, I love using that word because that's what they're going to do. Go fucking backwards. I don't know what's to come of this, guys. I don't care. It's not my fucking team. But honestly, you were just in the AFC Championship game. What did Blake... Do you see the the Minnesota Vikings signing Keenum to a four-year extension worth 50-something million? Do you see that? No. Because they're not fucking stupid. Their fans are fucking stupid, as we all know. But they're not fucking signing Keenum. Oh, Keenum, Keenum, gotta sign Keenum. Gotta sign him. Oh, oh, get the contract contract together. Get him whatever he wants. He deserves it. No. Because if your fucking top guy can't get you to the fucking big game, then there's a fucking problem. And he has had so many chances. So many chances, guys. You know how bad Blake Bortles did? (laughs) You really want to know how bad Blake Bortles did? He literally threw five interceptions at fucking training camp to his own fucking team. (laughs) He he threw five picks at his own fucking training camp. Okay, that's not good, okay? Once in a while you get picked off, but like that in one session... That's really fucking bad. Okay. So bad that, what, last year he got fucking benched and for, I forgot who the fuck else, I forgot who was the backup. I don't even care because he was probably a no-name nobody. And he comes in and he gets benched and then he starts again at the end of the year when the fucking season didn't even fucking matter at that point. So... You put you you want to change you change the jerseys the helmet you look great you know and all of a sudden you fucking do this shit to this fucking team I I, I just don't get it I really don't twenty one and thirteen and he's your guy for the he's your guy I don't know how old he is what is he twenty nine. 30, probably about 30 years. I don't fucking know. He, he sucks. He's horrible. Jax fans know he's not the answer. Give him one more year. Give him one more year. Just like the fucking Giants. Give him one more year. Give Eli Manning one more fucking year. Come on now. 
When you know it's done, it's done. So I don't know why they... Dude, they, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed you have a team right now. You got running backs, you got tight ends, you got receivers, you got a D-line, you got linebackers, you got safeties, you got fucking really good corners. And you're gonna fucking throw their years away having this guy try to win a fucking title for you guys? Oh my god. I scratched my fucking head. I didn't even know about this until fucking, what, this afternoon when I got home? Tonight when I got home, I someone told me about it. I'm just like, are you, you gotta be kidding me. You can't do this, like, I mean, whatever, it is what it is, but I'm telling you right now, like, I trust me, I've been pissed off about QB science too for this fucking team and trades and dumb shit, as we all fucking know. But that shit, you guys got everything. Do Jags have everything going for you guys? That team has everything going for them right now. Like, they can actually make a big step up next year. But, dude, as Blake Boyles as a quarterback, you are not going to get anywhere. That, that championship game, he can't extend plays. He's Like I said, he's, he's so hesitant in the pocket. He's a twitchy thrower. He'll throw it when he has to. I, I, he's, he's, come on, we all know this. I mean, don't even tell me he's good. Don't even tell me. 21 and 13, 21 touchdowns. I, seriously? And don't tell me he brought him to the fucking AFC Championship game because fucking let me tell you something, okay? I am so glad we didn't face the Jags in the Super Bowl this year. I really am. I'm really glad we didn't. But to change things around, I wanted them to play well. I wanted them to beat the Patriots. I wanted them to prove that they can actually do something. See, if Bortles actually got them to the Super Bowl, maybe I wouldn't be throwing too much shade at him. But at the same time, you gotta win the big game. Like you gotta, you gotta bring your, you gotta bring your guys to the big game. And that guy has had too many fucking chances. So, I don't need to tell you guys what to say in the comment section. You guys want to comment? Go ahead, because this shit that 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 is very that that's fucking embarrassing. Really fucking embarrassing. And you know what? I, I feel bad for all those other players that get drafted there. I feel bad for that defense because they're gonna waste their fucking years away. And unfortunately, it's gonna happen. And. They're gonna go back to square one. They're gonna fucking, they're gonna overpay every fucking buddy because there's too many people on defense that have big contracts. And now Blake Bortles does now. And now you're gonna end up losing your fucking defense and not hit that window of getting to a Super Bowl because you guys decide and think that Blake Bortles is gonna fucking be the fucking guy where he literally, you know, <laughs> in the AFC Championship game. It's just insane. So I don't know what to say about it. That's all I gotta say, guys. Um, man, that team went a long way from being horrible for years and not really going to any, not even AFC Championship games, not even in the playoffs. Haven't been in the playoffs in a long time. I don't know what to say, guys. But that's a bad, it's a bad move. So I really hope everyone, else, every other organization, learns from that shit because they could have went out and got a Kirk Cousins. They could have got out. They could have done whatever they wanted. Really, they could have went out and got a Kirk Cousins. They could have paid somebody else. At least, at least if they overpaid for a quarterback that has some statistics, I wouldn't care because I think anybody is is better than Blake Bortles. I think Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins is definitely better. Better, he's way better than uh, than Blake Bortles. But, you know, even though I don't think Kirk Cousins is the guy in the spotlight, you know, that can win games in the spotlight, at least he's an upgrade of something. You know, I wouldn't care if Tyrod Taylor went to the Jaguars. I think Tyrod Taylor could do better over there than Blake Bortles can. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? So... That's all I gotta say about this, guys. That's all I'm gonna say. So, fucking Jesus Christ. Um, fly goes fly. Shake squad up. Peace. Fuck your bitch, get a bag from it, then I never call it. Nasty tripping, going crazy, nigga, tell her let her.